Happy Monday, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're taking a look at a recent F. Trudeau rally or protest that took place in a Canadian tire in Ontario. I have a breadcrumb trail to just show everybody here from Twitter. This is really cool. It was an awesome turnout. It seemed like really good vibes. There was music. There was barbecues. There was peacefulness there was flags everyone just seemed to get along really well and stand in solidarity with their distest or dis you know their hatred towards the current prime minister justin trudeau but before we get into it i want to encourage you to give a like and subscribe if you haven't already we're very close to 300,000 subscribers we're independent just one person running the show here we're up against mainstream corporations government funded corporations and organizations so we're doing a pretty decent job and uh, if, if you would like to ever participate in these Canadian Tire protests, well, you got to remember to just stay calm and peaceful. And speaking of staying calm and peaceful, we got the latest merch shop right here. Keep calm and never vote liberal. Link is in the description and the pinned comment down below. You got hats, you got shirts, phone cases, coffee mugs, everything for men and women. And I guess everything in between. Link for that is down in the description below. Without further ado, let's get into this breadcrumb trail here. So this is Karima on Twitter, and she was there reporting on what was happening. So you got some Canadian flags on the hockey sticks. You've got some F. Trudeau flags. And as you can see in the background, you've got the Canadian tire. Pretty good turnout. You're going to see a lot of pretty fun stuff here. Canadian tire, F. Trudeau flags. And, like, they allowed this to happen. This wasn't just people getting together and... and you know, a pop-up thing and Kenny Tyre said, no, like this was organized. There was weeks in advance. There's actually, if you stick around to the end of the video, you're going to know where the location of the next one at the next Canadian Tire. So it's pretty cool that this is kind of being like the stomping grounds for these protests happening. And I'm sure you're going to start to see more across the country. Here you've got somebody unloading a barbecue. I'm just going to mute it here because it sounds like there's some music in the background. So unloading the barbecue, setting up shop, super peaceful, super peaceful. No need for the emergencies act whatsoever. Moms resist. That was another thing that happened simultaneously as well for, for Mother's Day. And then here they've got barbecue going. Honks are going on. I'm just going to mute it in case of uh, any music issues, but yeah, look at those Smokies, man. That's the best way to cook Smokies. You do the, the diagonal um, cuts and stuff like that. F. Trudeau flags waving in the wind. You got the American flags, too. Just seems like an all-around good vibe. Like, no one's screaming, no one's shouting. There's no anti-terror or anti... Um, sorry, I said anti-terrorist because it says terrorist on the, on the screen. There's no anti-mass or... Jesus, anti counter protesters. Oh my God, that are wearing their masks and up against, you know, us like anti maskers, anti vaxxers, fringe minority, and stuff like that. So good job, Kenny Tire in Oakville. Good job, everybody, for remaining peaceful. And it didn't really seem like there was any instigators, right? So that's pretty cool. You've got a big truck here pulling, <laughs> just having a rocking time. Look at that. It's just rolling through. It's cool to see that this is still happening, that it didn't that it didn't die out. You know, um, a lot of people thought that it would just fade away after they invoked the Emergencies Act, after they really put a stop to conservative or um, right wing, right crazy protests or gatherings. And there's no cops from what I saw. And we got more videos to cover. There's no cops. Um, there's no counter protesters. There's no debate or, or like arguments confrontation right so pretty good pretty good to see that things are finally you know running smoothly and that no one is um no one is trying to sabotage these events so here's karima right there standing in front of the king tire with a huge f trudeau flag that's a pretty good photo canadian symbols and icons person in f trudeau bandana dances to f trudeau song at f trudeau rally we'll play like a second of the song and then they just start twerking and stuff like that that's pretty funny you can see lots of canadian flags lots of people all aligned with the same views politically and pretty good time 
And then as the night, uh, you know, started to creep on, you got some PPC people. Even though there's a mix between PPC and conservatives and things like that, no one seemed to be butting heads. This was rather a good and peaceful um, protest. You had, you know, barbecues. You got people brought their dogs. You can see the bottom of the screen right here. You know, all around. Just a great time. I kind of miss these. I know after the convoy, there was a lot of there was a lot of stops along the highways and bridges and stuff like that across Canada that would people would get together a couple times a week or once a week and they would just go and, and wave the flags and sometimes it would evolve into something a little bit more. People would have barbecues, people would stand in solidarity, they get to know each other, you'd make friends that way. I used to go to them uh, when I was on Vancouver Island in my area. I would just go by and I'd see the people that are waving the flags and I'd stop by and say, hey, what are you guys doing? All right, when's, when do you meet here? And that's a great way to get to know you know, people in your community. So when you have these types of events that are put on where there's no real organizer, it's just kind of community run. Uh, you're, you're relying a lot on good people showing up that have similar values. And the main, the main common objective here is that everyone dislikes the government. They like having a good time. They like listening to good music and staying peaceful. And as we saw from the first Canadian tire, F. Trudeau protest or rally or get together, whatever you want to call it. It was a great success. You got some upside down flags. Media is the virus on the back. I mean, ain't that the truth, right? As you can see, like there's no confrontations whatsoever in this unedited raw footage footage. We can skip through here. Awesome. Awesome turnout. It's pretty cool. And so there is going to be, um, another one in Niagara Falls at 7 p.m. on May 20th. So that's coming up really fast. This is pretty cool that this is happening. As long as things remain peaceful, as long as no one gets out of hand, as long as there isn't, uh, you know, provocateurs or um, people that are trying to instigate and sabotage the events, I think that this is going to continue to be a great success. Now you have some articles like this from blog to saying people are boycotting Canadian tire after anti Trudeau parking lot. This is kind of misleading because the people that are boycotting, it's not lots of people. It's like a few people, maybe like a handful, six or 12, not really a lot. So as far as people that are fighting back, it's, it's not really, it holds nothing. It's just, empty into the ether words calls for boycotts against Canadian tire have only increased following an unsanctioned anti-trudeau party that took place on the grounds of one of its stores parking lots near toronto flyers of the event began circulating on social media last week and promoted a f trudeau party scheduled to take place at canadian tire parking lot and you have this person here vicky campbell on twitter says my husband and i shop at canadian tire a lot just last night in fact uh, this is un-Canadian horse crap keeps up. If this un-Canadian horse crap keeps up, I will not be any longer. Neither will my husband. That's a promise. Okay, well, good luck. Canadian tire is pretty hard to avoid these days. And then this was pretty cool. This is probably my favorite uh, favorite vehicle or display. This nice convertible with the F. Trudeau flag with the F. Trudeau imprint just on the side of it. Pretty awesome, guys. Pretty awesome. So I'd encourage you, if you're in the area, if it's accessible for you to go and you feel comfortable enough doing that, it's likely going to be a good turnout, as we saw from the first one. The second one will probably be even better. You're probably going to even have, because Niagara Falls to Oakville isn't that far, you're probably going to have a lot of people that were at the Oakville one also show up at Niagara Falls one. I think it's going to be a good time, but I'll pass the question off to you. How do you feel about this? How do you feel about these now new like rallies or get togethers happening in the parking lots of Canadian Tire with no real organizer? That's kind of the cool part. It's like the great Gatsby. We don't know who it is, who's starting it, but here we are enjoying it and coming together as a community. That's the end of the video, everybody. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. 
and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks so much for making it to the end of the video. If you want to support the channel financially, you can do so by checking out the merch shop linked right up there. Or if you want to do something for free, which is also absolutely acceptable and highly encouraged, you can subscribe right there. If you want to continue watching videos like this, you can do so by clicking or tapping right there to watch the next upcoming video. And if you want to watch a little bit of different content, but also Canadian stuff, you can do so by clicking right up there. That's my second channel, House of Canada, also known as the House of Commons highlights. Thank you so much for watching. I look forward to seeing you in the next video.